now we have our exclusive guest, Megan Wright. Now, Megan, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we know that it's got to be difficult for you to be in the center of this storm. And uh, I assume you're speaking out because you want to do whatever you can to help find this child. Um, Megan, okay, you have a phone. It's a prepaid phone. Uh, a call came in yes. from a phone that the cops say was one of the phones that was allegedly stolen from uh, baby Lisa's mother's home at the very same time as baby Lisa. Okay. It goes in at 8 PM that night, which is before the mother says she passed out. So that doesn't make sense. The second That's thing is you're telling me that your phone belongs to, or was, was in the possession of Dane. Tell us about this guy, Dane, because uh, Levi Page is claiming that he's into drugs. Well, um, there was eight people living at the house at the time, five adults and three kids. Um, so my phone was pretty much community, um, which has been questioned, but it's true. Um, Dane was, from what I was told, I was downstairs at the time that the, apparently the phone call took place. Um, but from people in the house, what I've heard is that Dane had my phone all night um, to the point where nobody else could use it because there were so many incoming text messages and phone calls for him. Um, okay. Now, as far as your ex-boyfriend, John Tanko Jersey, who um, was mm -hmm. allegedly working in that neighborhood that night uh, and has been arrested on totally different charges and he's appeared in court on totally different charges, there he is. Megan, you told us that Jersey was into drugs, specifically meth. Let's listen. Let's listen to what you said. I found out that he was getting into some drug activity. Do you know what his drug, what drug is? Uh, meth, from what I understand. He would disappear for hours on end with no explanation. Uh, he was quick to anger, last to understand, and it was, just, I just couldn't handle it anymore. And uh, towards the last couple of days, I was actually fearful for my safety being around him. Okay, so we know that the missing baby's mom admits she had about five glasses of wine the night the child went missing. That's why she says she passed out at 1030, doesn't know exactly what happened. There are also published reports she was on anti-anxiety drugs. Now a family member is coming forward and telling us that she, quote, flirted with drugs and uh, may have had a problem with alcohol that she liked to drink. In your opinion, is there any nexus between <laughs> Dane, who apparently allegedly likes drugs, and the mother who... A relative is now saying flirted with drugs. Is this phone call, could this phone call be about that? It's possible. Um, like I said, I wasn't around when he had my phone. I was downstairs. My phone was upstairs with Dane, uh, apparently in his possession from what I was it, told. Um, I don't know this Dane, but he does, he, does he push drugs? drugs? Does he push drugs? Does he push drugs? Not that I'm aware of. I don't know him well enough to know okay. if he does or not. How about uh, Jersey, your ex? Has he ever sold? Um, I know that, um, not that I'm aware of, never in front of me, um, but it is possible. Like I said, and towards the end of our relationship, we didn't spend a whole lot of time together because he was at the release center. Um, so his activities are totally unknown to me at that time. So.